Hello, hello, hello. This is Nellieville Reviews Drag Race. Let's just get into this Snatch Game episode, shall we? So at the top of the episode, the girls ask Maya how she feels about lip syncing again for the second week in a row. And Maya is really feeling herself. She She's very full of herself. And I'm like, girl, you know, congratulations, but like, calm down, keep it cute. And it kind of seems like Maya is also throwing shade at Morphine. You're coming in really, really bold for someone who is just barely out of the bottom, barely surviving. Like, take a breath, baby. But I will say that it does seem like there is a flame under Maya, so hopefully we can see a better execution from her in the coming weeks if she survives. So, the girls get out of drag from the last episode. It is the next day in the workroom, and while the girls are all kicking, waiting for RuPaul, Morphine takes the opportunity to bring up how Tsunami stole her man. And it was just kind of like a fun little banter about something that happened when they were doing drag at one of the clubs and Tsunami, you know, took a man that Morphine wanted and blah, blah, blah. It was like really cute. And then uh, Plasma had like this funny little, was it Plasma or Dom? One of the girls was like, oh, your man's not safe around Tsunami, but Tsunami's always safe, meaning like she's never like won a challenge, and, but she's never really been in the bottom. Anyways, it was a cute little banter. And then Rue walks into the workroom. Rue walks in and announces that the library is open, which means this is the reading challenge. Now it's very interesting that they have the reading challenge and the snatch game in the same episode. So the reading challenge is one of those challenges that, you know, a lot of people really look forward to. So let's go through really quickly and I'm going to tell you who gave it to me in the reading challenges and who didn't. I'm going to say, uh, baby Q, you tried really hard, but you, you, you didn't. And if, if you don't know what reading is, I, baby, oh gosh, what are we doing here? Reading is basically like you kind of. How can I explain this in the simplest way? Reading is kind of like making fun of someone, but there's a little bit of truth to it. You get what I'm saying? Q didn't really give the jokes for me. Plain Jane was okay with the reading. Tsunami, she she came in correct. She came in hot. I like the joke where she calls Safira, Safira her sister, brother, uncle, and that she basically is the Morgan Freeman of drag and said, oh wait, that's RuPaul. So that I, I I thought that that was pretty funny. Maya had zero good reads. Don was pretty, was pretty solid. I like when Don said, Tsunami, really bold name for someone who hasn't made waves in the competition. That was cute. Safira, I thought would have been a little bit stronger in the reading challenge, but Plasma had good jokes and good puns, but there was too many words. Morphine, baby, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Nymphia, I, I appreciate the enthusiasm. It was a really good try, but it was a really big fail. I'm so sorry. So of course, Tsunami wins the reading challenge. It wasn't even close. She really murdered. She And I'm not gonna lie, Tsunami started out a little rocky because she started out making some jokes that was kind of flirty towards plain Jane. And I was kind of like, girl, this is cringe. But she quickly recovered and, okay, I'm with you, girl. After that, Rue tells the girls that it is time for the Snatch Game. And the girls are very excited about it. While the girls are working on their characters, Plain Jane says she's never done anything like this before, but she's pretty excited about it. Um, in the beginning, I pred predicted that Severa was either going to win or she was going to flop. Dawn? When she said that she was going to do Meghan McCain, she went in on Meghan McCain. And I was like, I, I'm not a Meghan McCain apologist or a stand or whatever. But if you're going to say you're going to do somebody and rip them to shreds, man, she called her everything but a child of God. And I just feel like if you're going to go in on someone like that, oh, baby, you, you better bring it in the snatch game. You better bring it. Tsunami did a, a made up character, the t gold tooth fairy, which is not even like an original character. Another girl, another Rue girl from a past season did this character. I don't think it was for Snatch Game, it was for something else, but I don't know. With the made up characters, you, you 
it's really it's really tricky it's good because then you can go you can take it to wherever you want to it's up to you the character doesn't exist so you can make it whatever you want it to be but if you're not really good at character development if you're not good at I don't know. You could lose your way. So when the girls are questioning Tsunami and saying, girl, you taking a big risk doing a, uh, you know, an original character, a made up character. And Tsunami is like, well, Trinity won when she did it. Baby, you are not an all-star. You're, you're comparing yourself to an all-star rule girl who's been doing drag for like, I see what you're saying, but you know, apples and oranges, baby. So Rue comes back to the workroom with Chad Michaels for the walkthrough. Chad Michaels is a share impersonator and man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when Chad walked in, he looked more like Cher than Cher looks like Cher. I mean, th th Chad was just glowing from within, the look, the everything from, and this was a good person to come in to talk to the girls, to get an idea, you know, what they're going to do, give them some pointers about, you know, impersonation and stuff. So this was good. It was really nice to see Chad. I don't think I've seen Chad in a little while, but okay. I, I was like, oh my, oh, oh. As Morphine was going through her walkthrough with Rue and Cher, I was like worried, immediately worried. I was also worried for Plain Jane because Plain Jane was doing this character um, this really famous pop star, um, not in America necessarily, that I never heard of, that Rue had never heard of, Chad, nobody had heard of this person. And um, I was just like, oh, that's kind of risky doing someone. Once again, it's the same thing with the made up character or doing someone that no one really knows. Um, Snatch Game tends to have more of a payoff when it, you're doing someone that we kind of have a reference point to. And then, he went as <laughs> plain Jane kind of dug a hole when he was saying this pop star that he's doing is basically the Madonna of whatever country this person is from and that uh, Lady Gaga steals all of her stuff from this pop star. I'm like, baby, you're making some pretty bold claims with some really, really sensitive fans. Like, you know, Pick your character, impersonate this woman, but you know, watch your mouth because these people, you, you better piss some people off, like relax. When Safira tells Rue that she's doing James Brown, Rue couldn't be any more excited. And I'm excited too. I'm like, okay, James Brown, this is, this is gonna be a good character. You have a lot of range. You have a lot of places that you can take this. I'm like, this is gonna be good. And then Rue starts to talk about how, oh, that was my first concert and blah, 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 blah. And then Safira's like, yeah, I know all this. This is why I picked this person. So I'm like, okay, I, I see what just see you, Safira. Who did all of the girls play for Snatch Game? Let's go through it really quickly. Tsunami did the Gold Tooth Fairy, like we said. Safira was James Brown. Plasma was Patti Lapone. Plain Jane was Janella Carru, baby, I'm not even gonna try to say that name, I'm so sorry. Nymphia Wynn was Jane Goodall. Morphine was Anna Sor Sorkin, Sorkin, the little scammer person. Sorry, baby, I don't know some of these names. Y'all need to pick some popular people. Maya did Shaquita, who was supposed to be Trina's cousin, y'all know Trina the Rapper. Sh Shaquita was also a made up character, but like, okay. Q did Amelia Earhart, and then Dawn did Megan McCain. For this week, let's switch it up and do it a little differently. I'm gonna go through and talk about how each girl did in the Snatch Game, while at the same time, we are going to take a look at their runway. And the theme for the runway this week was Dancing Queens. So the girls had to pick a theme of dance and do the little outfits and do a little dance down the runway, you know what I'm talking about? So, without further ado, Tsunami, Baby, she failed in that snatch game. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. You could have took it there and you I, you left it. You couldn't find it. It just wasn't good. Your look was okay. She had salsa, you know. Your runway was all right, but it wasn't enough to help you help save for that horrible, oh, tragic snatch game. 
So Ferris James Brown was pretty good, but like Rue said, I feel like she could have taken it a little bit further. Could have went a little bit further, you know what I'm saying? But it was pretty funny, it was solid. For her runway, she did Drag You, a uh, uh, majorette. So she kind of did like a tribute to black women and college girls. Drag You is another uh, spinoff of Drag Race. Um, I'm not crazy about the look, but I really, really love the message. Um, and she's always got those little dancing, she, she always got them same little shoes on and covers them up, and, and baby, that was a cute little joke during the little, run, uh, during the critiques, but you know, woo woo. Now, for Q, Q was pretty solid in the, the Snatch game. I, I actually kind of enjoyed Q. A lot of people said that her character was really, um close to what she did for the brick in that like SNL challenge but I didn't mind that I mean she did Amelia Earhart this is somebody that we're not too too familiar with as far as like personality and the way she talks so I'm like you can pretty much do whatever you want I found it to be pretty funny and then on the runway her dance was the robot so she dressed like a robot I thought this was cute I liked how colorful it was I like how the hair was this was a good look for me so I would say high safe, if not top for me. Plasma, Patty Lapone. Um, you know, look to me, it felt like the same character. It felt like her Barbara Streisand. It felt like her, uh, her Mariah from last week. Like there wasn't a whole lot of range. It wasn't awful. And then the tap dance, the look. I was waiting for a reveal. The looks not horrible but it's not great either but i like that um oh and she did tap dance for her, her thing but the i did like the tap dancing that was cute so playing jane did the J jelena J J J yeah i guess jelena uh, look, look this pop star i'm so sorry no disrespect it's no shade um it was strong i guess i was not cracking up laughing but you could tell that she really knew this character and you know comparatively comparatively to the rest of the girls was definitely going to be a top two along with Safira. um is it going to go down in history for one of the best snatch games Pro probably not but it, it was solid especially comparatively for her dance she did latin ballroom which makes sense she used to be a ballroom dancer um they really really were in love with this look i thought i don't know i feel like we've seen this before it was really pretty it wasn't but it wasn't innovative it wasn't um shocking it wasn't you know it didn't move me like that um and also i feel like she could have done a little more with the dancing on the runway but you know whatever nymphia oh with the jane her snatch game was it I, I thought it was going to be good, and it just kept getting yeah, worse and worse and worse. I'm so sorry. But this runway was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Um, her her dance theme was Japanese buto, buto. Oh, it, it was so beautiful. I love what she did down the runway. I love what she was wearing. The makeup, like everything was on point. It, it was beautiful, and this runway saved her. Morphine. Her snatch game as Anna, oh baby. They really didn't like it. Um It was it was boring, but she she was trying. She was really trying. And I don't think I disliked it as much as the judges, but yeah, it definitely it was it was just boring. Um but she's another one, her runway. Now she did flamenco. This picture is not doing this justice. Once again, the makeup, the face queen, like the whole look was gorgeous. Oh, and the hair, I love the hair. Maya Shaquita, now look, she did really, she shocked me because she played someone who was so loud and so, um, has so much personality, whereas in real life, she's very, res at least on the show, has been very reserved, very quiet. So I was just shocked to see the girl be loud. Um, but without grading on a curve, I think I, I think it was a safe performance. It was safe. 
she kept the energy up she stayed in character she had some moments but if you know but if you put on the curve of like shock value like wow we didn't know you had that in you then yeah okay it was more like impressive okay work now her runway baby what are you wearing now she's supposed to be doing 1990s hip-hop nip 1990s hip-hop wear she didn't really do a whole lot of the 90s moves to even save this outfit. I don't like these colors together. Baby. No, maybe the, the hair and the ear, the hair and the earrings and maybe the sleeves. But baby, what are you wearing? This is not giving 90s hip hop. Who wore this in the 90s? Somebody tell me. Then we have Dawn. As Megan McCain, the way she went in, I thought, oh, okay, she's really gonna bring it. It was safe at best, at best, barely safe. Um, she missed a lot of opportunities. I don't know if editing took out her stuff. I don't know. It was so many places you could have gone. Um, yeah, it was a flop, but at least she knew, she knew that yeah, I, I I missed it. Some girls be delusional, so at least she knew she didn't. So anyway, so on the runway, she did polka. Um, the outfit was fine. It was kind of costuming to me. Um, I didn't really see a whole, whole lot of fashion, but it's not the worst runway. Um, so thank God she had a good runway because that snatch game was very middle of the road, maybe, if that. So when it comes time to critique the girls, Plain Jane decides to keep her potion. She has some girls begging her for it. I don't know why these girls think that Plain Jane is gonna give up her potion. This girl's not gonna give up her potion. She probably won't even use it for herself because she's very confident. Why, why on earth most people probably wouldn't give it away? Are you kidding me? The top girls ended up being Safira, Maya, and Plain Jane. I really thought Safira was going to win, but Plain Jane ended up winning, which it, it made sense. But I just kind of really wanted Safira to win. But either one of those, it made sense. You knew it was going to be one of the two. And then in the bottom, you had Tsunami, Nymphia, and Morphine. Nymphia, of course, that runway really, really saved her. So in the bottom two, you ended up having Tsunami and Morphine. And you know that they're, they're really, really close. So it was it was going to be a sad lip sync. The lip sync song was I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. And Tsunami, baby, you cannot dance. I don't know if you could perform to another song or what. But I was like, girl, I mean, she did okay. But Morphine was really, Morphine was giving it to she was performing I, you knew right away okay she's gonna win but i did enjoy the lip sync it was one of the better ones it really reminded me of uh juju b and raven like remember how close they were and they lip sync and it was so emotional like it gave those vibes but they really had fun out there they were dancing together they were interacting and even though morphine was like having fun with tsunami i could tell morphine was probably like girl back up and let me perform because tsunami kept trying to make this like a do like i get it like emotions are high blah 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 but i feel like if tsunami would have focused more on herself you know maybe you could have got to stay girl but it was probably about time for tsunami to go on so anyway tsunami this is not going to be the end of you girl hope you hopefully you watch yourself on the show and you know you can correct the things that were kind of lacking and come back stronger maybe in an all sorts or something you know what i'm saying morphine you live to survive another week baby and congratulations to plain jane you know once again you out here dipping into doing you know what I'm saying? You standing on business. So, I mean, what can I say? You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, Safira could get a, a, a win. You know what I'm saying? But, um, congratulations to you two being the top. Um, Tsunami, uh, you know, I wish you well. Love the Muse family. I love your drag mother. I love Candy. So, you know, I'm looking forward to see what, what the dolls are going to do. Anyways, that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week for more Nellyville reviews. Drag Race. Man!